What do you think of today's proceedings, mate? It's good for community to come together. I said, think it needs a heavy political content. That's what I think. They are very good to bring people to the block, not only Aboriginal, but also the white people supporting the Aboriginal rights. Long may jail your cruel and bad. You have made sane men go mad. A lot of people took their lives at different times. But you won't do that to me. I still be sane when they set me free. Anytime you ever come to a venue like this, it's just a beautiful, welcoming place. I think it's fantastic. It's the nicest time I've ever spent in the block. It's by far the most friendliest, happiest vibe that's been here that I've experienced, that's for sure. It's good to see, yeah, lots of black and white faces here. It's awesome. I think um, it's really good because it kind of doesn't matter. Everyone's just chilling out together and, you know, I didn't even think about it, really. Bring it all on, yeah, unity and diversity. Where is your original team? Without a teacher, we got you go right to the cream. Yeah, I think it's pretty good, man. I mean, it's it's just a true re representation of Australia, isn't it? There's all different people from different backgrounds and all just having fun together. So, yeah, for sure. They're desperately trying to sort of get rid of the black population out of the place, put in new housing and bring the rich in. Uh, you're going to lose a great cultural heritage in a, in a beautiful part of Sydney. Is there any solutions? The real solution I would suggest is that they decide themselves that they have their own autonomy and they control their own environment instead of people doing it from above. This is the sweet God Cesar, aka the two. This is how we bring it with the cosmic brew. From the microphone, we on cue with the science and the tactics. Choo -choo. Never whack hands when we rock it, spark it, not a market. But we trade in the skills and exchange in stories. From the rock to the quarry, this is freestyle. From the pebble to the rock to stone, right up in the zone. Never on my own, because we got this whole community oh, right around the block. To the clock to stop. I reckon we just got to give these young people something to do, you know, like keep them active, keep their minds busy. So the more activities that they've got to do, the you know, more productive it is and more positive energy around. There's no um, clean cut solution, there's no one right or wrong answer, but what's really important is a lot of um, collaboration between Aboriginal people and non Aboriginal people, and the Koori people who live here really need to be involved, which they're not at the moment and they really deserve a say in what's going to happen to the block. We've got to continue to build bridges between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal uh, organisations and communities that don't believe in the, the way the government are doing things, where money is God. You know, people are more into community and, and we should stand up together. And if they ever try and take the block, we should make sure that everyone in the city knows and comes down here to oppose it. When it comes to developers, we all know what they're about. They're about the almighty dollar. You know, these are people who don't respect or appreciate culture just for being what it is in the city. But, you know, black folks have the right to exist and live their culture everywhere, no matter where they are, and we'll continue to do it. Your comments? I think, personally, they should extend the block all the way down Abercrombie Street and use the abandoned brewery. I mean, what it's doing? It's not doing anything. <laughs>
Now it's time for Hack, and there are plans to redevelop the area known as the Block in Sydney's inner city suburb of Redfern. The Aboriginal housing company runs and operates the land, but their plans don't really mix well with the New South Wales government's plans. Here's Steve Kinane with the story. If you think of the Block in Redfern, this might come to mind. The Redfern riots of 2004. These images went around the world. But recently there was an event down the block that didn't get as much coverage. Youth Rock the Block. It featured music, dance and a bit of politics as well. The Block is situated on prime real estate a few k's from Sydney CBD. The state government has big plans to redevelop the area. Youth Rock the Block was held in support of the Aboriginal Housing Company, who have their own plans to rebuild and rejuvenate an area that means so much to Aboriginal Australians. The Block to me is just an inner city mission. You take away all these buildings, you take that all away, you leave the Block here, there's still that same, you know, family vibe, community vibe. The Block's always represented strong, positive Aboriginal people. It's a lot of, a lot of different backgrounds and spiritual beliefs are just coming to one and, and just getting on together. Houses on the block in Redfern were first handed over to Aborigines by the Whitlam government in 1973. Out of this area evolved the first Aboriginal legal, medical and housing services in the country. It became a symbol of self-determination and hope for the future. But lately it's become a symbol of despair. Most of the houses were knocked down after they became unsafe and taken over by heroin users. The hope for the future of the block for local Indigenous people now lies with the Pemawoy project. We named it after Pemawoy, that guy that fought against the settlers in the early be in the beginning. Um, we built 62 affordable housing. We named them uh, the Gadigal apartment. And the reason why we picked 62 because there was uh, 62 family, Gadigal family, got wiped out of smallpox. I don't really believe it's like it's a promised land for our people and it's the first bit of land that we own in the, in the inner city area. And it, it, I think it's so important for our people, to 